All right, and here I am with the second part of the Holy Trinity of uh, action games, in my opinion. And that is, so we just did DMC3, now we're on to Bayonetta. Oh, yes. So, um, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's horrifyingly difficult, so <laughs> it fits into the theme of things. So, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. Let's put it that way. It's gonna be, gonna be something. So, I'm on a pre-save file, because obviously, you have to, <laughs> if you want to play it on Infinite Climax. Uh, uh, I'm already on Infinite Climax, ain't I? Well. I suppose I should go to the stewer and uh, pick out some shite. So I'm in my favorite costume. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. It's a bit shiny. Shut up. <laughs> Dig you, my baby. <sighs> anyway, all this stuff is necessary, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> It'll be all good. Just making sure I've got everything I need for this. Which I do. See, unlike the other costume, it kind of makes it worse. Because, really, it, she's, she becomes really shiny. But, it's whatever. Alright, let's get this going. Oh, it's gonna be horrifying. Are you horrified? Are you horrified? Are you horrified yet? Look at this. It's blood red. You should be horrified. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> In the universe of light and dark. Primarily the dark. Look at those angels, bruh. I like that the costume goes into the cutscenes too. I think that's brilliant. Also, a few things that she does makes no sense with that costume on. <laughs> but it's okay, I don't mind. Oh, snap! From the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of this. Oh, I just got punched. The Umbral Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers. The Lumen Sages. Get wrecked. Dude, I'm just tap dancing on these fools and they can't do nothing about it. They're just getting wrecked, mates. They're just getting wrecked, matey. It's really good. Oh, I don't think you want to do this. Nope. The Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. Can't stop dancing, dancing. <laughs> Just dance. It's pretty good dancing, son. Ooh. Crash into it. Oh. We're falling a very long way. So you don't actually have to fight any of this stuff. Which you can if you want to, but I don't. So I could just stand here or I could just dance. Let's dance. I think dancing is a really good idea. Just tap dance on these fools. Like it's no tomorrow. I think that's going to be a really effective strat. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, hey, hey. 
By the way, this can't be skipped, right? Just because I'm doing this doesn't mean I'm not going to skip cutscenes. Because I am. All of them. Because they are hideously long. <laughs> yeah, seriously. If I'm going to do this on Ultimate Climax, I've already done a playthrough of this and it was my first time ever. So if you want to see the cutscenes, then do that. Or just buy the Wii U version if you've got it and play it that way. But, um... Yeah, Infinite Climax is no joke, and I can't be bothered to watch the cutscenes. So, <laughs> it's just gonna waste a whole lot of time, and I'm not about that. Same with Devil May- although Devil May Cry 3 I used Virgil, so... Same with Metal Gear Rising. I'll be skipping everything that I can. Because I don't feel like watching all of the story on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there we go. Alright, so that was the beginning bit that didn't need to be done at all, honestly. The prologue is probably the most important bit um, of the whole thing, so. So yeah, the prologue's gonna be the, the actual starting point. This is the first level you get graded, so. But if you want to hear a much younger me play this game, in 2012, uh, or was it 10? Mm, might have been 10. Uh, then just watch my playthrough, uh, back then. I was really a novice at recording, and it was, well, it was pretty much how you'd expect it. Who the hell's left? Oh. So obviously I've got pillow talk and I've got everything else because, you know, because of reasons. I didn't cheat to get this shit, by the way. I got it legit, son. I'm too legit to even consider quitting. The pillow talk is a really good weapon. And it's really good for those um, portal challenges. He thought he could get me out, but he just can't, dude. Because you know when the sword is all massive and giant like that? It actually counts as a wicked weave. I know. So, that challenge for the wicked weave is actually really easy. Eh, I guess it was- oh, snap. Oh, snap. Alright, well, they got in close, so I guess... Old strats. If Pillow Talk fails, I just go back to what I know best. And that's being a scrub. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, let's follow this fool. Whee! Whee! Whew. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, who the hell hit me? Oh, man. I agree with Bayonetta. Too late. Plus, you're too slow. Are you kidding me? Oh, just get wrecked. Just get Magneton dominated. Getting shrecked, mate. Oof, gotta make sure I avoid that attack because it's gonna stun me and stuff. And I don't particularly like that. I also, I'm gonna try and end every battle by doing the dodge move. Reasons you don't, we don't need to go into right now. Oh yeah, you can charge this while you dodge. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Pillow talk is so good. <laughs> I used to underestimate it, but, uh, whew. the real power in the pillow talk is when you pair it up. 
and then it becomes fucking godlike. Oh, snap. Okay, so for this, torture attacks. You may be thinking, oh my gosh, how do you get torture attacks? You can't even fucking uh, do stuff. Well, yeah, we can't do anything. Which time is disabled, which makes this whole ordeal very difficult. But not impossible. And I'm going to explain exactly why that is very shortly. Oh, forgot it wasn't a button press, it was the stick. Oh, shit. Okay, why can't I taunt? Okay, there we go. What the hell is it? Why can't I taunt? Oh. What a, wait. Is something up with my equipment that's using like my taunts? Figured as much. <laughs> I figured as much. Because I was like, why can't I taunt? And it all became very, very clear. Oof. So yeah, you can get some... Oh, wow. You know what? Let's go for scrub strats. I'm all good. Just to protect myself while I do this. So I can get actually up and personal with them. I was trying to be all fancy, but... Pfft. Who needs fancy when you can just do it the easy way? Also, this may have been a mistake. Yeah, it won't kill it. Oh, well, that's not important for this. It's literally straight up torture attacks. Doesn't need to kill him. Nice. However, it would be pretty good. You know, I can make them, so it's all good. Also, let me use another one. Come back here. There you go. Okay, so we use three torture attacks. 120. 120 blaze it. Silver. <laughs> Look at all that damage I took. Oh dear. Anyway, skip that cutscene. My voice is shot to pieces. This is the mo this is like the most I've recorded in like two months. Ah, voice bad dude. It's really and I've and I started it off with a bang by yelling and all that other shit. <laughs> Cause I did a lot of yelling in Rugrats. Oh <laughs> uh, wow, I actually got a worse time and shit. <sighs> Epic. It's because I just went straight for the item strats. I didn't bother wasting time last time. And I played a bit better. <laughs> I was, I mean, you know what? I've not been playing this game for too much uh, in past, like, two days. And I'm rusty at <laughs> it. Enough to where it's, like, concerning. So that's worrying. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to... Wow. Okay. In these, I try and get 30 points at least, so that I can get uh, this. This. As you can see, I've got six of them right now, but I try to get, like, I try to get one every turn. If I'm super on point, I'll get as many as I can. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have some problems. Alright, Angel Metropolis, but first we buy. It's very important when playing this mode to keep stocked up because if you don't, well, if you're bad as I am, then you're gonna come into problems, you know? So you gotta just stock up. I gotta buy two. Three and one. Because I played this game so much, it helps that I've got a lot of resources to make more. 
So if I'm ever in a bind, I can uh, definitely, definitely save myself from being in said bind. So it's pretty good. Alright, let's do this. It's pretty good. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, you asked around and nothing. So, weirdly enough, right? What? Yeah. Weirdly enough, to get one of the moon pieces, you have to kill- Kill. You have to shoot all of these benches. And then the train rolls out and you get it. When I- when I first saw that, I was like, for real? <laughs> It's such a bitch. Like, why would you... Why would you do that? It's such an asshole thing to do. I've seen some YouTube videos, and they've been... Whoa. They've been really pro at this game on Infinite Climax, but I'm not. So don't be expecting any pro shit. <laughs> I'm not pro. I'm just decent at best. Go, 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 go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's funky. It's funky as fuck. Uh-huh. There's also one up there. There's a fucking uh, heart piece, and I'm like, why? <laughs> I destroy these for prosperity, you know, just cause. And there's my bullet. I'm not gonna remember where all of those are. I'm just gonna remember where some of them are. Oh, shit. You know what? Actually, I'll use this. Too late. Oh! I was too late. Oh well. Oh, hi, bro. Ooh. I don't think so. Alright, I can dodge him now. <laughs> Uh, you blocked? What? No. No, I refuse. The hell? Get dead. Whoa. Oh. Not only did I dodge that guy's attack, but I was epic. Oof. I don't think so. Hombre. Okay, we don't really want to be grabbed by him. Although, that will do more damage to him than me. As we're about to find out. Because while he's in that stun phase, I was able to get two of those thingies off. Oof. Dude wants my ass. Who wouldn't? Oh, for real. Let me go. Like, I couldn't hit him until I right at the last moment. I was like, what? Damn invincibility frames, though. Yeah, you don't need to chomp him up, but I'll oh, fucking chomp him up something.
delightful. Well, that fight went... Mm, generally okay. <laughs> There's a bullet up here, but if you're new here, then it'll be something completely different. Also, yeah, I'm gonna kill these things, I think. Alright. My combo will be crap, yeah, but my time and everything else will be good. And I did take a little bit of damage. I'm sorry, boss. Uh... Oof. Okay, so this is how you get pure platinum on this shit without even trying. It's really effective. <laughs> Hurts the hand like hell, but it's really effective. Makes your hand... Oh my gosh! Well, I'm not getting pure platinum. I pressed the wrong goddamn button. Oh, snap. How could I be so failure? So much of a failure. Ugh. There's a lot of mashing to do. Unfortunately, uh, you do do more f you fast. I believe you shoot faster if you mash it, which is unfortunate. I'd love for once in a game. You know, for once, I'd actually like holding the button to be the fastest option. <laughs> it just never is. I don't understand it. There, I guess it's something about, you know, doing so many inputs per second is more than the automatic, you know, fire that they give you, but still, it's poor shit. Like, by pressing the buttons, you're basically cancelling it or something along those lines. Cancelling the previous attempts and going with more. I don't know. All I know is that pressing buttons is usually faster. And therefore more painful. <laughs> Fucking die. Alright, got you. Ugh, just platinum and it's because of the damage I took. Ugh. Yep, gonna do this for him too. Wee! <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> I always forget those commands. I don't know why. Come on! There you are. Alright. This may not be the most effective course of action. In fact, I'm pretty positive it isn't. Yeah, it's not. That's unfortunate. What the fuck? Oh. Whoops. Alright, we're just gonna use the old. the, the, uh, the strats. Alright, got him. <laughs> Hands off me, bro. Well, so far on Infinite Climax, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm not too. I'm not doing too too bad. <sighs> My arm's a little tired from the mashing because I haven't done it in a while, but. Other than that, <laughs> it's going pretty well. Uh, and we've got... Uh, uh, oh, it's so insignificant of an improvement. <laughs> it's mainly because I got pure platinum in the other one, and I didn't in this one. 
I cry every time. Alright. Well, thanks for lining up for me right off the bat. Real fucking help. Oh, wow. Yes! This is what I mean when I, when I get on a roll. I'm not always a terrible piece of shit at this game. Oh, wow. Tits. Oh, well. I got 75. Out of, like, a possible 100 or so. Which is really difficult to get, but... Hey, whatever. So I'll be taking those. Thank you very much. Yes. I shall have all of them. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, oh dear. City of Deja Vu. Uh, did I use items last round? I don't think I did. Oh well. Uh, I'll find out. So this is the harder. This is one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Legit. Like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's one of the harder ones because you are basically stripped of all your normal tools, and you're left with basically nothing. So. It's pretty difficult. However, I found out the strats. The strats are pretty ridiculous. And they include doing that every fucking time you can. I think not. Oh my gosh. This stupid hoe. Come here. Come here and get some. Whew, I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> I refuse to fight that battle. And you know why? Because it's nigh all impossible to win. Unless you're, like, smashing Supreme. And I'm not. Where are you? Oh, that's real mature. Oh, wow. So basically doing the fight without this is really stupid. <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm never doing it ever again. Basically, if you haven't played Infinite Climax, you're thinking, wow, this fight wasn't, it was difficult, but it wasn't that difficult. No, Infinite Climax, it's like a million times worse than what you could ever imagine. It's not good at all. <laughs> come on. Alright, I'll redo it. There you go, come on. Gotta. And that makes the fight a million and a half times easier oh my gosh it's just so so good it ah it's just so good oh crick in my neck there's a, another piece of something can't remember might be heart piece so yeah, the big thing about uh, Infinite Climax mode is the fact that it has you no know, witch time, which was the advertised feature of the game. It's basically like one of the main features of the game, and you can't use it for this difficulty mode, which is kind of funny. It's like, oh my god, witch time is so good, and then it's like, it's one of the main things of the game. And it's like, you want to play on the higher difficulty? Yeah, you can't use that anymore. <laughs> it was an inter it's an interesting choice. What did you just open? 